Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about making a GIF or a video with Promotion NG by Cosmigo. For those of you who don't know, Cosmigo is a pixel art program. It's kind of one of the uh, veteran programs of the day. A lot of you indie game devs are probably using Acebrite, and that's also a great program. I just never have used it. I have a lot of good friends who have nothing to say but good things about that program. But today we're going to talk about Promotion NG by Cosmigo. I just want to say real quick, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I'll be posting more videos like this. The more people who sub, the more I'll post videos. Um, I'm a game developer, so if you want to support the channel, go ahead and purchase my game. Also, I stream on Twitch like every day, so feel free to go ahead and follow me. Yesterday, I streamed for like 12 hours. Okay, so let's get started on the video. Okay. Here we are at my nice clean desktop. I got my big cursor for you. So first thing I'm going to go is down to my taskbar. I'm going to open ProMotion NG. And um, then we have to make an animation. I'm not going to do that. That's not what this video is about. So here's an animation I made earlier. We're going to just pop that one open. We're going to open the project. File. Load project. Load project. And then my windows are not set up correctly. So a quick tip for promotion, you can always go to windows and arrange default. So you can see everything. And here is my GIF I made yesterday for animation. It's an animation of a girl running. We can loop it. So right off the bat, the first thing you want to make sure is make sure that all your frames are the right length. So down here, there's like a little loop button. See that I'm turning that on and off. You want that to be on so that you can test that the animation cycles, right? So this is a, she stops running. And this is an animation for my game, Familia. But I wanted to use it for social media. Um, I exported it to Instagram, Reddit. Uh, I think that's it. But yeah, so basically you just push the, the loop button and play. And now that we've confirmed that everything works well, uh, you always want to do that before you export to make sure you didn't accidentally make one of your frames take too long. Furthermore, you can adjust an individual frame by clicking it twice and then going to the FPS and changing how long you want uh, the frame to sustain. For this particular animation, the first frame lasts about a second. So that's usually a good way to do it um, because it's just a still frame. Later on, I'm actually gonna make this a, a moving idle. I haven't made the art for that yet. That'll probably happen later tonight. So now that I have my file up and we're ready to go, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to export as a GIF. It's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to show you how to export it as a video. Promotion NG supports AVI exporting, but let's start with the GIF first. So you go over here to File, Save Animation As. Down here where it says PNG, you want to save it to CompuServe GIF. Right, so go down to this menu. It's default usually either um, going to be SPR, or PNG or whatever, but just make sure you switch it to GIF. GIF, for those of you in the comments who are about to come at me, then go ahead and hit save. Uh, GIF by default doesn't have alpha transparency built into it. For this particular project, I'm not worried about an alpha layer. And generally speaking, GIFs don't really do well with uh, transparency. So it's probably not, it's probably best just to design your project so that you don't use transparency with your GIF. Okay, so let's click OK. Okay, so let's just talk about these settings real quick. We got the frame range, which is 1 to 37. It's a, fra it's a 37 frame animation. So I want to make sure I include all frames. If I was, for example, to say 22 to 37, it would only show the frames from here to here, right? Which is not what I want to do. I want to include all frames. Okay, so visible layers. Um, Promotion NG does have layers. I don't really generally use layers for pixel art, although there are a couple times that I have. Like for the hair in this particular animation, I did use layers and then I merged them after the fact. Some people like to have multiple, they want to keep all their animations in one file. You can have your layers be split up. You can have like 10 different animations over five frames and then export them all as separate files. And that way it's, you can keep it together rather than having like 40 frames or whatever. It's up to you, whatever your workflow is. But it's just important here to know if you want to create separate files for each layer or if you want to just combine the layers into one image. Okay, so this is the important one, scale factor. Scale factor um, affects basically 
the resolution of your pixels. So for me, I tend to export to Instagram with my GIFs. So you want to actually increase the scale factor by a significant amount. This image is a little bit less than 50 pixels tall. So I usually will tend to scale it up about 20 fold, which will make it uh, 400 pixels tall, a little bit less than halfway up a 1080p screen. So you want it to kind of match the resolutions you're working with, but you can kind of play with it and see what resolution you like. But just basically uh, multiply the scale factor by the size, the dimensions of your existing image, and that's going to be how big your image is when it's exported. So let's just go ahead and click OK. Stalling it up, you see the hourglass, that's because it's exporting. And here it is. See, we got two files. We got the Coco GIF, which is the actual animation, and then we have the alpha, which is the transparency. You can see the alpha, well, you can't really tell, but you can tell from the icon that there really is no alpha setting, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of just a throwaway file, and then here's our beautiful GIF here. Now again, I just want to mention the reason why I scale it up rather than just increase the size of the image is we want to prevent something called anti-aliasing. And anti-aliasing um, is when you have a file that's a pixel art file and you actually want these really strong squares and it tries to blend them. I'll show you a quick example of that from my website. And what ha now when I, when I magnify the image, you can see that the pixels are really fuzzy. And that's because anti-aliasing. So if you actually did export the GIF in the size that this image is in right now, which is I think like maybe 120 by 120, something like that, um, and you try to scale it up so that it's like like this is about probably 600, maybe a little bit more. The browser or most image viewers, it's gonna kind of create this blurry effect. So that's not really something that I personally find desirable and most of the pixel art artists that I come in contact, they don't really find that desirable um, as opposed to something like this with really hard squares. Um, in the past, you know, art styles were different, but I think that this is more what I'm going for. And, and if you are going for that blurry look, uh, that's totally cool, but just know what you're getting into and know what type of tools you need to use. So we exported a GIF. Now I'm just gonna show you how to export a AVI file real quick, and I'm gonna show you some tricks to get that file size down. By default, ProMotion makes AVI files really big, and there's also some really tricky things that it does, so let's just go ahead and make sure you don't get hung up in the way that I have in the past. Okay, so file, export, save animation as. We're gonna save again to the desktop, and this time we're gonna save as AVI. Okay, this again is asking about the transparency alpha um, layer not super relevant for this case. Same thing, we got the frame range, visible layers, flat layers, include effects, pixel size, scale factor, I'm gonna keep it at 20. So this video will be uh, about 400 pixels tall. Now this part is really tricky. Look, there's nothing going on in the screen, right? Look at this. You saw that window that just popped up? Wait for that window to pop up because that'll really snag you. What I would usually do is I would start clicking on my project before that window popped up and look at that, I went and hit it. So just make sure you don't do that. So when I first tried to do this, I got hung up because I had a window in front of this pop-up window. So I tend to use Intel IU codec. Uh, that's been the one that works the best for me. I have done full frames and it does um, export, but the file just tends to be ridiculously large. So I tend to use Intel IU. So you just go ahead and grab this, click OK. And it's going to take a second, right? And I, I saved it to my desktop, so it'll be right here. So go ahead and click this, double click it. And now this is a secret. It's not really a secret, but I tend to do it this way. So if you look at this file, it's going to be pretty big, right? So let's go to properties. So the file size is 277 megabytes. Now that's way too big to upload to Instagram, to Reddit. Uh, the, those platforms are gonna be like crashing and stuff because that's too big of a file. So what we do is we go ahead and write, uh, we open it. And here in the default um, media player, window, uh, movies, it's called uh, Movies and TV in Windows. Just use that and you can collect and you can just click trim here. 
Now don't trim off too much, just trim off like a little section by grabbing this little ball down here and just move it the slightest bit. Then you can click save as, and then you'll save it as this uh, trim. So I'm just gonna replace it. That's a file I used earlier for an earlier example. And now it's saved. So now I have this trim file and it looks pretty much identical, right? And then we can look at the properties to see the file size. Look at that, the, the file size is 160 kilobytes. So that concludes our video for today. Guys, let me know if you like this video by hitting subscribe, hit the like button. Come say hi on Twitch. I stream every day because I don't have a life. So I'll talk to you guys later and thank you very much again. Goodbye.